Hey guys, it's Mr. B here with your science lesson for today. So yesterday you found out we are starting a new science unit and we're talking about fossils, okay? Uh, Ms. Albrecht did the video yesterday, the video lesson, and you guys started by watching uh, a science court video and you guys stopped kind of in the middle and then answered a question for her. Um, so today we're going to start where she left off. And we're going to have a little bit of a discussion, and then we're going to have another question that you're going to answer at the end. Um, we're probably not going to finish the Science Court video today. I think we're going to maybe watch about five, six minutes of it, and then uh, we'll have a, just a tiny bit of a discussion afterwards, and I'll ask you a question that you're going to answer in your Google Classroom. So let's watch this Science Court video. <laughs> I remember something. So the question was from yesterday, what is a fossil? Is it a stone replica or is it actually a bone of, um, of an animal? So that was the question you had to answer yesterday. And this is what we're going to kind of explore today. So sorry, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Crumple. Okay. Dr. B, does it surprise you that this fossil is made of rock? No. Why not? Because most fossils are not real bones. They are replicas of the bones. Can I show a quick film to help explain this? Hey, am I in it? No. Oh. Fossils are the remains of something that lived a long, long time ago. Any living organism can become a fossil, and there are many different kinds of fossils. Now, petrification is probably the type of fossil that most people think of when they think of a fossil. This occurs when the original bone is replaced by the minerals in the water that seeps through the rock. The bone is then said to have been petrified or turned to stone. Petrified bones keep their original structure because the minerals in the seeping water have replaced the bone bit by tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and I'm just going to ask you to, if you want to, you can rewind. But I want you to write that word down, maybe in your science notebook, petrification, okay? And petrification is the process of when living uh, material or organic material is, is turned from that organic material, like bones or whatever, uh, wood can be petrified into rock. So it changes from one thing, an organic material, bones in this case, we're talking about fossils, into rocks. And that's what we discovered fossils are. Okay, fossils are not bones, but in fact they're kind of stone replicas of uh, of what once was. Okay, so they were once bones, but slowly over time they changed. The water and the silt and everything kind of replaced that, and the minerals replaced that over time, and it became stone or rock. Objection! What is it, Mr. Savage? Well, Your Honor, I expected Miss Crimble to pull a fast one like this. You mean using scientific definitions? Yes. Uh, uh, I mean, no. <laughs> What's the problem? Well, it so happens I came to this very construction site this morning to think and to protect the drop tobacco. But instead, I found something very interesting buried in the sand. Another fossil? No. Jack Jenkins' wallet. Hey, my wallet. But is it yours, Mr. Jenkins? Are you sure? Or is it a replica? No, this is mine. It's got my money still in it and everything. So it hasn't been petrified? Sand and minerals did not go into your wallet and make an exact replica? No. This whole fossil thing is a farce. Mr. Savage, fossils take thousands and even millions of years to form. They do? Yes. How long was your wallet buried? Two days. Oh. Well, hey, can we get back to the movie? Yes, but this is a courtroom, Mr. Paper Cup Dropper. We don't just demand verbally. We have to go through channels. It's a bureaucracy. There's a way to do it. Roll the film, please. Okay, now I want to explain about the conditions for making a fossil. A very important requirement for fossilization is that the organism, plant, or animal be covered in sediment. 
What do you mean when you say sediment? Sediment is matter that is deposited by water or wind. Like sand, for example. Oh, well, what do I mean when I say sediment? Same thing. Oh, okay. So it's essential that the organism be covered in sediment as soon as possible before animals or the natural process of decay destroys them. So, Mr. Savage, are you satisfied? The only thing this proves, Ms. Crimble, is that this is a fossil. Right. But Jack Jenkins still could have put it here. I mean, this doesn't really look like the kind of place where a lot of dinosaurs were hanging out. Now, if there was a Planet Cranwood Cafe, then maybe they would have, uh, you know... Mr. Savage. I'm just saying, Your Honor, that these are not the right conditions for fossilization. There's no water here, and the view is terrible. Could that be right? This spot doesn't look to me like a place where dinosaurs would want to live or where fossils would be formed. Courtside commentators, what do you think? Should we expect to find other fossils here? All right, we're going to stop there. Now I'm going to ask you this question. This question is going to be in your Google Classroom. You're going to go in there and answer your science exit slip for today. But the place that where they're, where they're at, does that look like a place where dinosaurs could have been, you know, we just talked about, or the video just talked about how there has to be the right specific conditions for fossils to form, right? You got to have it, you got to have the organism, whatever it is, plant or animal, dinosaur or whatever, to be buried in a layer of sediment almost right away, okay? Um, and then those right conditions form fossils. So I want to ask you that question. We're going to put this in Google Classroom. You're just going to answer it. Just give us your best thoughts on that. Do you think this is a place where fossils, more fossils could exist? Do you think this is a place where um, the right conditions uh, took place for fossils to be formed? Okay. And then I want to fit, this is just for you to be thinking about as we move forward. Do you think maybe this environment looked different? A while ago whenever those fossils were formed or do you think it always looked like that that's something to think about as we move forward okay all right guys I want you to go ahead and head into Google classroom and open up that question answer that question for me and then we'll see you tomorrow for science hope you guys have an awesome day